Now today when I enter the station, I have to bypass people who are into groping yeah. and you actually cannot do anything about it. Yes. You cannot catch hold of anybody. So I think that somewhere deep within, and, and I'd like to go back to Rati there. I really appreciate Rati. I know it's raining. I can see you holding an umbrella and standing there to take part in this uh, in, in this conversation. I think that, that means a lot for all of us and for me it's as well. It's absolutely fine the, as long as... Yes. As long as my voices are heard, I'm okay standing in umbrella or anywhere in the world. However, what I'm trying to tell you that if you have already committed a, committed a mistake, you come back and you say sorry, this is for Delhi's chief minister I'm talking about, you commit a mistake, people are silently protesting, you're throwing water cannons and so many things on them and the next day you're coming and saying sorry, does that really solve the purpose? No, that will not solve the purpose and this goes to one of the panels that were talking about or defending uh, Delhi's chief minister. I'm talking directly questioning them regarding it. If that's the case, then in that case, the, these people, these rapists who have committed the crime, so they have also committed the crime. They may come back tomorrow and say sorry to it. And to be honest, I don't trust Delhi government. They should show their faces, people who have committed the crime, because we never know. They might come back tomorrow and say they are already hanged. So uh, probably your issue is already solved and we are working like normal. And the day after we realize, oh my God, no, well, it was just a prank with us. Well, absolutely. Well, well, uh, you know, Rati, that's 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 very important. My only point of concern is that and that Gautami, you know, it, there are people, as I said, who'd be biding time till uh, anger subsides, and the nation then moves on. Uh, on on the right hand side, we have pictures there of JNU. Uh, in case you uh, 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 JNU Students Union at Munirka, this is the very same bus stop. I'm going to play a clip before I go across to Gautami. There is a clip from this point where, uh, where one of the young leaders at, uh, of the Students' Union speaks about why it is so important that everybody assembled at the very bus stop where, you know, most unfortunately, this Braveheart boarded that bus. I want to play that clip and then come back to the chat. Satyo, you are at 31st night, we are not only at night, we are 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 at night. इंस्पिरेशन लेके आने वाले दिन में संघर्ष करेंगे और मैं बार बार यही चीज है आप हम लोग इसीलिए नहीं है हम लोग को माँ है हम लोग को बहन है हम लोग को जीजी है नहीं है ये महिला का लड़ाई और इंसान का लड़ाई है ये महिला का लड़ाई है समाज का बदलने वाला लड़ाई है और समाज बदलने के लिए एक आदमी आज मर गया इसका हम आगे लेके जाना है ये होना है संघर्ष वो हम वो जिंदा लाश नहीं है हम वो लड़की का इंस्पिरेशन है हम वो लड़की हम लोग के लिए आने वाले दिन संघर्ष करेंगे ऐसे घटना नहीं होने देंगे हम इसके लिए आगे वाले दिन में काफी सारा सब लोग मिलकर लड़ना पड़ेगा ये मैसेज जाना चाहिए लड़की सिर्फ एक संगठन नहीं है दो संगठन नहीं है सारा लोग मिलकर लड़ना पड़ेगा समाज बदलने के लिए एक आदमी टेकाधारी नहीं है सबका समाधारी होता है इसलिए सब लोग मिलकर आने वाले दिन संघर्ष करेंगे ये समाज बदलेंगे आप पितृ सत्या के खिलाफ हम आने वाले दिन में लड़ेंगे ये जेएनयूसी की तरफ से हम लोग बोलना चाहते हैं आप सबका धन्यवाद देना चाहता रोने का और गुस्सा होने का अल्टरनेटिव नहीं है हम कैसे बदलना है एफ जी पूरा जिसको और कैसे कैसे नहीं होना चाहिए ये होना चाहिए जवाब इसके लिए आने वाले संघर्ष करेंगे आपके सबको धन्यवाद देना चाहता हूँ जेएनयू की तरफ से वॉन्ट टू गो टू मालविका एंड टू एंड टू सबा हियर थ्री डेज दैट्स हाउ लॉन्ग इट टूक फॉर द लोकसभा टू पास अ बिल दैट इंक्रीज द अलाउंसेज ऑफ मेंबर्स ऑफ पार्लियामेंट Sabha, what will it take to bring in a similar sense of urgency? It may not be their salaries, but there needs to be a sense of urgency in Parliament on this issue. Arnab, I have no doubt that uh, that you will you will get uh, uh, that you will get a sort of contrived sense of urgency, and uh, then. Uh, and everybody will make statements about this and you know there, there will be the need for a special session of parliament but what happens but uh, you know at the same time uh, where we have to see whether they just divert the whole issue into committees or they actually do something about it because we've seen this uh, with the women's reservation bill and they don't uh, you know really move on this and just to get back with the political uh, question of what happened to Sheila Dixit you know, this was an opportunity. This was not a political movement against a particular regime. This was an opportunity for people in the healthy democracy to come out and relate to people. This was an emotional response to a human problem. 
and but we have such a bad disconnect between politicians uh, today that the government treated it like a law and order administrative problem the genius of a democratic politics should be to be able to engage with people and say yes you are concerned you feel this and we are with you we are your representatives but it's so sad that you have to have this kind of situation and little wonder nobody had time for Sheila Dixit when she tried to actually no. engage with the people because the whole uh, thing has been so badly handled by the political class they just see it as disruption I mean they're supposed to see the problems of citizens what yes, people but feel so you know but I Malibika have uh, you know they, we may well get a special session of parliament I'm sure after this yeah, kind of pressure that has been built, built up uh, but, there, there will uh, be some action but towards uh, mobilizing uh, uh, you know something. But, but, but Sabha, you no, know, I'm even e even the, the genuineness if, of no, the political class. Yeah, if I may come in, even this whole talk of a special session of parliament actually, Malavika, you know, uh, beyond the point, that's also, is that the only answer? I mean, if the government wants to bring in a law, if they want to say for a sort of work on laws, they can bring in through an ordinance and get it reviewed later. End of story. I don't know why they are, you know, they are not even doing yeah, the obvious. Absolutely. They no, put it to I, the standard I, I, cold I storage method of a committee. Right. No, but this whole thing of special se uh, special session of parliament, I think, on the one hand, the question to ask is that women are, after all, half the population. Why should they need a special section to address their problems? A special session. Yeah. It should be addressed every day. There should be an awareness about it every yeah. day. You see, this point was made by a co-panelist in another uh, program, and it was a very good point that needed uh, that needs to be said again. That's one. The other is perhaps they want to use it as a special session to send a message which is a dramatic response to what is happening at the moment. So like what? I mean, well, fine, then that message is to be seen. Like what? I mean, they, uh, my, my worry but, is a but special... The, the, but the point is not... Special no, session should not become frankly, grandstanding. The point is not special session. Well, actually, yeah, that's, that's actually what it would amount uh, to. Know, but what I, I am saying I is may... that one session would be interesting because it will be focused on women's issues, many things will be raised, etc, etc. But that's at a deeper philosophical level of what are women's rights at, at the level of personal laws, in the realm of divorce, in the term of property, etc, etc. This is basically only security, which is personal security, physical security on the road. That's it. Pretty Which simple. is now now fifty percent. The balance, the balance, half of the population feels safer. So I can't go for a run into a into a park at in this weather at seven o'clock because I'm scared. And if something happened, it would be said that you know you were asking for it. Why did you need to go for a run at that hour? However, a man will not feel that fear, and I'm resentful of it. And you have a reason to be, Malavika. And so all I. You have a, so you all, all, all you need, all you, yes, uh, yes, I agree. I, yes, I do. I do have reason to. I know that. Now the point is, the point is that you are talking only for effective, efficient management and policing immediately. It's not a big philosophical issue. It's an efficiency issue. No, and I, it's a priority I, issue. I, I, I think it's a fear issue. Malavika, it's a fear issue. It's a fear issue. It's a fear issue. It's a, it, people are as much afraid of people who will harass and rape them as they are unfortunately of the people who are meant to protect them. Yes. I think that's, I, I, that you ask anyone today, yes, isn't that the issue? Right, isn't right. that and the also, real problem? Let, let's get the panelists here in. Aditya, that's that, the issue. That is an issue. The, and also talking about the special session of parliament, yeah. like Malavika ma'am brought up, yeah. it should not turn into, grand, like you also brought it should not turn into grand grandstanding. Standing. Here's a checklist of what people of my age should look for if there is a special, uh, special ordinance or a special session. A, are they, are, they, are they saying anything which is going to change a law across the country? Because remember, states have different implementations. B, if they are saying that the police is going to be coached, going to be sensitized, is this going to be sent down to them in, in a written format or in a formal yeah. format? C, is this going to be in a structured manner or is this just going to be a parliamentary statement? Yeah. And D, uh, when women issues are being dealt with, where is the NCW? Where are the SCW? The NCW has become a cosmetic 
organization exactly. that beyond the point of time be... besides rehabilitation of some people is serving no effective purpose my my question no my question purpose. is to ananya i've been quietly listening on to this you know what is your takeaway ananya um what, how, are you prepared to wait let me put it this way are you prepared to wait i just came i just graduated from the us and i came back like a week ago and yeah. my mother the minute i sat on the flight from chicago she texts me that a uh, curfew timings the minute you land in india check your email i check this email and i see this uh, the rape case and i just think to myself that my mother is emotional and she's telling me to uh, stay back at home but actually the change is needed in the society people should be aware of uh, that boys or family should be aware that boys should not do this no matter what class are you on so uh, class are you in so i meaning my mother should not be telling me that but she is scared of of in the us if even if i roam around at 4 o'clock in the morning i'm sure n- nothing will happen like that yeah. but over here my parents are scared and i, I am scared to move out because the minute i've yeah. come back Shalak. i see people staring at me shalak yeah and uh, uh, once at night when i was out somewhere and a van of police came that is one of the scariest things and that is not really? how people yes and that is not how people should be feeling if you're if you're alone somewhere with some friends and six policemen come is that just a fear or something you read about or anecdotes yes, people other people share with you the um the the rapes by the policemen a couple of years back things like that they stick and it's not the just that yes, yes and that may have been one isolated incident but even now the way that uh, certain policemen do talk to girls you feel at least most girls they do feel a little yeah. intimidated and they feel judged and yeah. they you, you can't feel judged by the people who you go to for protection yeah, yeah. I think I think the way the youth have organized themselves is absolutely amazing Ankita. For me that's the biggest takeaway. Absolutely. You know, absolutely. That this is a far more aware uh, aware of their rights, uh, quick to communicate and assertive when required. That's what my takeaway from interacting with all the young people today has been. Absolutely. Uh, we can see it across the country that everybody has united for this particular cause. Yeah. But my question is to the government we have united we are raising our yeah. voice when will they act upon it if there is a special session of the parliament being se- scheduled when will it be yep yeah. why is there no urgency just because they themselves or their daughters or their sisters do not have to roam around the way we do yeah they have protection yeah are we not entitled to feeling secured when we leave our houses absolutely security is not just for vips absolutely. i think you make a you th- make a strong point plus we are talking about rape we yeah. are forgetting there are other offenses against women as well, well we if have... we cut them at the grassroots itself yeah. situation will not arise till here well i think i think we can take this discussion forward in many ways may i only wrap up for want of time because we've divided this hour by hour and are continuing our coverage into the next hour i just want to say to all the four of you and to all the young people who joined us i am very proud of you and i think you have proven me right i've always had a feeling that there is a superficial group of people who think that the youth is about ice cream popcorn formula 1 malls britney spears and unbridled unstoppable consumerism i have never felt that way when i was your age and i know that you don't feel the same way as well i am very proud to be next to socially committed and politically aware young people like you thank you for joining me today thank you very much it's a, just a short break on the news hour tonight at 8 pm we are raising other issues at na- uh, we are at 8 pm uh, the basic and most critical issue of whether india's ruling class is is losing touch with reality and what's the best tribute to the brave heart and at 9 pm what is the great difficulty in calling a special session of parliament back in a couple of minutes